Hi, let's see uh, this example. So uh, it's a quadratic inequality. So as you know that if you want to solve a quadratic inequality, you have to make sure one side is zero and this one you arrange in a general form, right? General form. So, okay, let's see. So this one have 6x power of 2 plus with 12x less than 28 minus x, right? So you arrange in a general form 12x minus plus you have 13x minus with 28 less than 0. So then you have to either you check with calculator, either this one can be factorized. Uh, so, okay, let's see you have 3, 2x, right? 3, 2, 6x. So I will try with 4 and 7, right? 4 and 7. So if you see that here's a negative sign here. So the, uh, okay, let's try with this positive, this one negative, right? So this one you have negative 8 and this one you have 21, right? As 21 minus 8, uh, 21 minus 8, you have 13, right? Uh, you have 13. So, <coughs> means that your factorization is correct. Uh, so this is your factorization. So now you are using graphical approach for solving quadratic inequality. Uh, so, this is your x-axis, uh, if you possibly, uh, if you know this is the x-axis, then they have this value here, so you have 4 over 3, right? Uh, you have negative 7 over 2. Uh, once you take this equals to 0, you will get uh, x equals to negative 7 over 2. So, uh, x will be 4 over 3. Uh, so, you will choose either the positive, this, uh, this graph here, or you choose the one that below the x-axis. So it's based on the sign here. Uh, less than zero means negative, right? Negative. Uh, negative means below the axis, right? Below the axis. So this is the region, right? Uh, this is the region where the x is between negative seven over two and four over three. Uh, so this is your solution for this problem. So, because this is below, the y value for this graph here is negative during they are the uh, below the x-axis. So, this is the region where, uh, this is the solution where satisfied this inequality. Alright, uh, so very easy. So, hope you understand.